back on the trail this week and back in Big South Fork. Today, flying solo with my daughter, I decided to revisit an old favorite and a Big South Fork gem, the Twin Arches. And for good measure, I decided to trek down to the Chariot Lodge. We couldn't have asked for better weather as vehicle issues kept us close to home. But with an amazing place like Big South Fork nearby, a great adventure is still guaranteed. Come join us. So everybody, well, sort of back on the trail today, <clears throat> we are in Big South Fork. Yeah, look at those views already. Anyways, had a pothole with the car. It's caused some damage. So until I get the car in the shop, which will be this week, decided to stay close to home, which is why we're in Big South Fork. And Ian is not here, so it's just uh, going on a little hike to the Twin Arches, which you've been to before, but it's been a while. And I've been wanting to go there just, you know, just to show it to y'all. Because it's a really cool place and it's really easy to get there. So it would be an easy place to come, you know, to see. You know, if you just want a little short trip to see something amazing in an amazing place, a big South Fork. As you can see, well-traveled trail, <laughs> and the parking lot was full of cars. There's been at least like eight to ten cars in the parking lot. So, and it's a gorgeous Sunday morning. Temperature is supposed to be in the mid 70s today. Just the perfect day. To be out in the woods so basically yeah just doing this gonna take some pictures this is not a long trail at all in fact I think it's less than a mile to the arches themselves and it's just a maybe a mile beyond that to get down to the Cherry Creek Lodge and that's it, and that's it, and there's nothing difficult about the trail. There's a little bit of elevation gain, but not much to it at all. And I'm gonna try, you know, to show you a little bit of what it's like to come out here. Again, there's the trail, and look at all that mountain laurel already. Yeah, just a big batch of mountain laurel. I don't know if you see over in the distance, we got the hills because there's also an overlook over here. Which we'll get to. And I don't know if any of y'all caught our uh, first paranormal investigation with our last video. Boy, what a learning project that's going to be. Our lighting was way off. 
Eventus. Yeah. That, you know, there's a learning curve there. But, you know, we'll get better. Get better equipment. Get better cameras for doing night vision stuff. So, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to get on hiking. And down this gorgeous trail. Be back, y'all. Big South Fork contains a wide range of trails. From the short, relatively easy trails such as this one, perfect for a day hike, to difficult trails that are still amazing and fun that you'll never forget. And yes, the fork may not have the elevations of the Smokies, its overlooks are no less impressive. There is one major advantage it has over the Smokies. Far, far less traffic and people. So many of the trails you get to enjoy in the fork, you get to enjoy in solitude. Okay, so we're coming up to a split. And you can go to the left, and there's a set of stairs right there. And you bring you down, go around to the arches from the lower way. Or you can go this way, you walk along the ridge line for a little bit, and then you'll go. I think there's a stairway along here, and this, this is the way to get to, I mean, either way, this is a big giant loop. It'll loop around, if you don't go to Cherrick Creek. There's a big loop, you go through the arches, and there's another stairway that comes back up, which will lead you back up this way. But this way also takes you to the overlook. Well, quicker to the overlook, I mean, it's a loop, so you can get there from the other way too, but. I don't know, I find going this way is a little bit more scenic. I mean, it's all gorgeous. I don't know what I'm saying. But, we went to the right. Because we're going to hop up to the overlook. And so, yeah. Be back. The lack of foliage affords some glorious views of the hills around us, revealing just how beautiful this northern end of the Cumberland Plateau is. This horizon seems to go on forever, with only the occasional passing airplane giving any clue to man impeding on the natural world. No sounds of traffic in the distance or the roar of annoying motorcycles, just pure nature. I love it. Okay, here's the one big staircase going down toward the arch. But I just want to pause here. Check out that view. And the overlook that we'll be going to is just right over there. In fact, I could see it through the trees there. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna head down these stairs and be back. Staircase here takes us down to the top of the arches themselves. The views on both sides are nothing short of breathtaking. I will never tire of experiencing beautiful places like this. It helps clear my mind and re energize my spirit. Life is most alive when surrounded by nature and the energies within it. There's no therapy better than nature. Check out those views. Drop off on that side, drop off on this side. I believe we're actually walking across the top of the arches right now. If you 
of a spot so you can look over. This side as well. I believe we're walking across the larger of the two arches. Right there is the top of the staircase. It'll take you down so you, so you can walk and climb through the arches. But first, before we do that, I'm just going to pop over. It's a short distance up here to get to the overlook. It's a gorgeous overlook. Oh, look at that down there. But the overlook's just right up there. A little bit of climbing you gotta do though. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, so there's no rope or anything, so you have to actually climb up these rocks. It's not that hard. But my kiddo didn't wanna didn't wanna do it, so I'm climbing up here. To the overlook. And this is it. Gorgeous. To see forever. Look at that. Now we've shot a drone shot from up here once. Back before we learned it was slightly illegal to fly drones on <laughs> in a federal park. So I have no drone today going to take some video shots. I may drag out the old drone shot that we did shoot from here and just tack it on so you can't see the magnificence of this. This is one of nature's masterpieces, this arch or these double arches that if you guys haven't been here and haven't seen them I mean, you're in for a treat. I mean, this is, what you'll see is one of Big South Fork's many gems. <laughs> That's why I always say that how fortunate we are to live next to such an amazing place. And to be so close to the Smoky Mountains. So between the Smoky Mountains and this place, I don't think we'll ever run out of places to see in the outdoors. Okay, I'm gonna do some shots and be back.
Escaping on a weekday Hold on and don't you dare look back Heading down to the arch. This staircase seems to be holding up a little better than the other one. Big step. Right there. That's the one arch. Massive. Okay. Be back okay. In Looking back from the staircase we just came down. Here's where we were just walking. Across there and across there to go up to the overlook, which is up there. There's the smaller arch. This is the larger arch. And there's a sign here. It's got the dimensions. We'll get to that in a second. And we'll get a better look at the second arch. But I just wanted to show you that. The only thing missing is the leaves on the trees. I've got plenty of uh, hemlock. This is hemlock here. Rotted engine. There's like some red bud right there. It's flowering. A little bit of rotted engines around. That's everywhere. So, we cross this little bridge. Okay, looks like the kiddos wanting to check out the big arch first. So, do that. This is my third time seeing these arches. And I never cease to impress me. There's the loop that'll take you back the other way, the way we didn't go back to the parking lot. I am directly underneath the arch. Look, just look at the patterns on the rock here. From the er erosion. When there used to be a sea here millions of years ago. It's just like this little honeycomb like stuff here. Amazing.
gorgeous. You have the same thing on this side. Look at the layers in the rock. Here we got the iron layer. You can see how that broke away from there. So you can see the layer, little ribbons of iron and the sandstone right there. And you get the same. It's amazing what water can do. <laughs> Something as simple and benign as water can create. I mean, look at the carving right here. Of course, the iron deposits help because it doesn't wear as easily as just the standard stand sandstone. It just helps create this artwork of amazingness. Yes, that's a word. And I don't know where all the people are because with all those cars, we're the only ones here. I ain't complaining, but. Wow. There's another trail there that goes to some more amazing stuff. We've done that trail before. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do some shots and I'll be back. Okay, here's a little informational sign for by the South Arch. Just giving a little rundown of how water created these arches. And here we go. Coming up on the South Arch. I thought it had the dimensions of the arches on that sign, but it didn't. A wider arch than the other one. And thicker. Amazing. This has got some cutouts in it. Yeah, it's almost like a straight flat break right there. You can see how it's separated from the wall right there. This one up over here, I 
actually cuts all the way through the rock. But you really got to squeeze <laughs> to get through it to the other side. Okay, be back. Water is not only a life giver, but also is a master sculptor. Sure, there are larger arches around the world, and many of those were also carved by water, but the twin arches are right here in East Tennessee. This beautiful landform exists a short distance from home in what I would like to think is my own personal backyard, Big South Fork. I highly recommend y'all checking this out. Okay, so now we're taking this little side trail a short distance down to the Chariot Lodge, which is a rustic lodge that you can actually stay in. It's sort of like Lacan in the Smokies. <clears throat> There's no electricity or anything like that. But I guess you can uh, get like a little taste of what it was like back in pioneer days. <laughs> I'm just going to take these very smooth switchbacks of the Chariot Lodge, which is down just not far. And That'll be it for today's little adventure, but these are two amazing things that you can do here in Big South Fork that they're very short trails, they're not difficult, and they're amazing. The beauty that you see. Self work is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. There are a couple of other routes to Cherry Creek Lodge, but I believe this one is the shortest. Today, with surprisingly no one else around, it was a peaceful trek down a series of switchbacks until you reach Cherry Creek and the lodge itself nestled in the woods on the banks of the Cherry Creek. It's a beautiful setting, and y'all are in for a treat. Check out the stream. Got a gorgeous sound. We're almost on a lodge. It's just up here. We finished the switchbacks coming down the hillside. Now you can only get to this lodge. <clears throat> to spend the night there by hiking to it. Or, I think you can get that by horseback, but you can't drive. It's not accessible by car. Someday, <laughs> you know I said that the last time I was down here. Someday I'm gonna stay there. But just had to show you that scenery that we're walking through. Gorgeous. Be back. And here it is, y'all. Cherry Creek Lodge.
Cherry Creek Lodge day use. All structures reserved for overnight guests. Free village up there. It's for people to maintain this place stay. As you can see, they're all reserved already. <clears throat> Here's your check-in. It's also where they have, where they cook the meals, I believe. The kitchen here. The dining area here, and it's where everyone comes together to eat. Here's where you can fill up your water bottles. Here's some other cabins. Dog beds. Obviously, they're pooch friendly. Outdoor games. Manager quarters. Proper presidents. Okay, be there. Corn crib. <laughs> Another little cabin. Here's the barn. That's where we keep all our firewood. Look at all that. They're, they're, I guess they're ready for the season. It's the spring now. We're gonna have more people coming down here. I need to check in and see how much it is. Stream. Going off through the back. Gorgeous. Be there. Again, Cherry Creek is a rustic lodge, and therefore, there's no electricity, no Wi Fi, no TV. Who needs any of that anyway when you're surrounded by all this? No, it's just the wilderness as your entertainment and the camaraderie of your fellow lodge mates. It's a little taste of life in the fork circa 1900. But don't fret too much. There are modern bathrooms and even showers in a building near the camp store. The lodge is a little slice of heaven.
they've documented about everything in the place. <laughs> We're heading back. And just an information thing, from the parking lot to here is 1.8 miles. That's it, just 1.8 miles. It's of course, 1.8 miles back. Now there is another trail that goes around the mountain there and loops back up. That'll take you back to the parking lot there. I mean, there's trails there. In fact, there's a trail that goes up this way and goes back. And we did that one. That one's 15 miles though. We did that one once a long time ago. That was, that was a hike. That was our longest hike ever that we've done in one day. Well, we got some horseback riders coming. But we're not doing any of that crazy stuff. We're heading back the way we came, 1.8 miles up. Back to the car. Oh, they got it open. Or the one of the lockers is open. So, yeah. Yep, see there with the trail going up that hill there. Back Smith shot. Okay, we'll be back. As we left Chariot Lodge, several people on horseback began riding up. So I'd say that pretty much confirms you can come enjoy the lodge by arriving on horseback. We noticed the hitching posts as the riders were securing their horses. I'm not much of a horse person, so when I finally do make it back to Chariot and spend a memorable night, I'll be using my own two feet. Hopefully, I'll get back here soon. Okay, we're back at the arches. And uh, came upon this other sign here. And it does have the dimensions for the these arches here. The north arch, which is this one, spans 93 feet and a height of 62 feet with a 51 foot clearance. The south arch, the fatter one, the large, oh, that one's the larger of the two, has a height of 103 feet, 70 foot clearance and spans 135 feet. So that's interesting. Okay, so we're taking the other side of the loop back to the parking lot, instead of the way we came down, just so you can see what it's like on this side. And instead of following the ridge line, which the upper trail does, this one stays along the bottom, so you can see the rock cliffs that you were walking across the top of. And that is not too shabby. So either way you go, you're gonna get some pretty sights. So really, if you're just coming down to do the, the arches and you're not gonna go down to the lodge, you need to do the whole loop so you can see both sides of it because I mean each side is different and the one going out the way we went takes you across the top of the, of the, the rock ledge and this one takes you along the bottom of it so if you want to get the whole experience of this spot and this rock formation that is the twin arches do the whole loop. You don't have to go down to the Chariot Lodge if you don't want to. You just want to make a little short trip. I did it just to, you know, to fill out the hike a little bit better. And it's cool down there. And it, it only adds another mile to the hike. So, well... Technically two miles because it's a mile out there and then you got a mile back. So
So if you, I guess if you're doing the lodge and back, you're talking around four miles, which, I mean, that's pretty cool. And there is some elevation gain coming back from the lodge up to the arches. That's where most of the elevation gain is. And look at the cliffs. You get to see on this side. Of course, now you can see them. In the summertime, and all these trees have their leaves back. You're not going to get as, as good a view of those cliff faces as you do now. Gorgeous. And here's the trail. Be back there. Check this out, y'all. Look at those cliffs. And we're in a big rutted engine patch. How gorgeous this is right here. Stunning. You can almost tell that there's a rain-fed waterfall here. And since it's dry, it's not running right now. But you can see where it hits and then it comes down. And heads down the mountainside. Stunning. Okay. okay, so after you get done walking along the face of the cliffs, you come to the double staircase here that takes you out and back up to the top. So you can get back to the parking lot. And you get to the top of that. It'll meet up with the sign where you make your choice whether you want to go left or right. Is that not beautiful or what? Man. I want to go that way. <laughs> I want to see where that goes. If I had more time. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, be back. <laughs> Forgot to do an exit video. Okay, so that was the Twin Arches Trail down the Cherit Lodge. And my GPS clocked at a little over four miles, 4.2 miles. So it was a nice little workout. Gorgeous trail, it's a gorgeous day. Uh, just perfect perfect weather for hiking it's a perfect day in big south fork big south fork always rolls i wish i could have kept going but we didn't start out until late and ian bailed on me for the week <laughs> so. Uh. so uh yeah heading back 
we're uh, we're uh, just outside Jamestown, so we're gonna go into Jamestown, grab a bite, head on home, and plan for next week. We will be on the trail next week again. Won't be another investigation for at least another month. Though I will give you a hint, it's at another hospital, another abandoned hospital, but this one's much larger. Much, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just, well, just leave it at that. <laughs> so, uh, check our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. What's the deal, man? Just get subscribing. And uh, hit that notification bell so you know when our next videos are coming out. We're hitting on a pretty good pace to 1,000 since we crossed 500. So we're doing pretty good. Um, but, uh, like we said, merch is coming. We're still trying to work that out. I don't know how we're going to do that yet. I know there's lots of avenues that we can follow. We just haven't had a chance to sit down and iron out any kind of plans and the logo designs or anything like that. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's coming. It's in our heads. We got, we got it coming. And uh, so, until next time, Keep your stick on the ice and keep on a hiking. Adios, y'all. Once more, Big South Fork has proven how amazing it is. The Twin Arches is merely one of countless things to experience in this stunning federal park. It is home to our favorite day hike trail of all time, Honey Creek. It's a place of wonder that can't be recommended enough. Come visit Big South Fork. So from our family to yours, we wish you health and happiness, and we'll see you all out on the trail.